Does that explain it? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So Drake is arguing that no matter what you do, the consequences of any of your actions here will prevent you from achieving your stated goal because of human nature. So uh, Sean, oh, sorry. Well, it's more than human nature. It's the nature of, it's, it's economics. You know, he's taking their, what is it? Their micro incident into a macro scale. He's well, saying, well, they're thinking macro and it's Drake who's thinking very micro here. Like they're thinking save mother earth. And he's saying, yeah, but what about hang the snake? Yeah, he's, He's kind of blowing up their whole argument by saying, what What are you trying to save? Are you trying to save Earth? Are you trying to save humans? Humans are the only thing that can save Earth, you know, at this point, hypothetically. I, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, what Drake's saying, in the nutshell, that there's only trade-offs. There's no such thing as the ideal solution. So the, these are idealists here, and Drake, who I would not con- I would not call a pragmatist or utilitarian, he he's simply saying that this is a trade-off, man. You're going to beat us up. Because you want to defend the earth, but all you're going to do is go uh, scarf down some lentil sandwiches and and continue this horrible cycle that you are opposed to. It's it's a heady theme for a weird show about two guys looking for milkshakes. And it it looks like he brings them around. He brings them around, and it's that shot of. Danny is really well timed because it's easy to forget like what the who's really at risk here. Yeah, but the and stakes it's are. this guy. It's this guy who's like, I can't believe I'm putting I'm hanging everything on my insane friend talking my way out of this. Yeah, and then and then Drake blows it by just becoming a just being incensed that, that they didn't get it. Which is sold, of course, by Danny's look like of disappointment. Now the blinking um the glasses right there, that was a happy accident, I would describe it as, right? Because that was just one of the modes. No, Well, sort of. You mean happy, happy accident in the sense that it came with three modes or that it yeah. was? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give credit to Ned here for suggesting to put it on flashing because uh, I, I I imagine and he didn't, had imagined as well that there had been a fight and it, it had ac- accidentally changed modes. And I thought that was fun. It was. Oh, no, I didn't think that it had changed modes. I thought that it had broken. Oh, well, uh, so when you're watching it, you're like, oh, his glasses are broken now because we don't know that there's three different modes of you're right. rapid you're right. flash, slow flash, and solid. It was it was good instinct on, on his part either way, I think. And uh, shout out to my sister on the makeup. Incredible bruises and, and split lip. Yeah. Um, these guys are hemophiliacs. They bruise very quickly. Or they, they I, my, in my mind, they beat them up and then they drove across town so that they would be as far away from their cars as possible. You, you might notice these uh, really hot, sexy yellow jeans here in episode two, worn by myself, yours truly. In a previous episode, correct? Are you wearing those in the Learn to Dance the Watermelon video? Yeah, that's me. I'm in the, the jacket with a, with a 20 pounds of... A uh, steel chain on my neck because that's what's really hip right now. All the kids are doing it. And then here, here our guys are, our lonely heroes. We break the rule here, right? They're they're not near their car, presumably. Well, uh, I guess that's technically correct, but they were near the Prius initially. So I, I want. I feel like we're still keeping with the rules. It's only when we get to episode ten do we really break the rules. So stay tuned. And then, of course, we realize that Drake has always seen Lance as the whale this whole time. Yeah. Digs it. Yeah. Digs it. He respects that. He and the whale are friends. They love each other. They get each other. They they know. Uh, This is all improv dialogue here by uh, Danny and Ned about shaving your balls. I like that you can really tell how slow they're walking. Like, they must really be hurting because that couple walks by them at just blazing speeds. (laughs) Yeah, normal speed. Oh, man. Well, that's episode six. It just takes us into seven and eight. It takes us into seven because it's linear. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's crazy. That's how numbers work. It's it's fucking crazy. uh, Anyways. Episode seven coming up, guys. Thanks for watching.